It's, if you'll do that for about 10 minutes in front of your mirror, I'll guarantee there's going to be about 25% of you are going to get this belly rub and head pat and deal down. So the nice thing about this, you can sit here with a rod. You don't have to work up a lather anymore. You sit here and you shoot a, a ton of fly line, all right? Now what I like to tell people, can you hold that rod right about that angle? Take the tip of your rod at home. Leave just the tip strong. It doesn't matter which fly line you put on your rod. Any rod on any tip, spinning rod, bait casting, doesn't matter. And what you'll do is just cast with a tip. And you can sit here, number one, you can sit and throw loops. Here's a, here's a wide loop, a wide loop, a tight loop, a tight loop. And then you sit here and you start double hauling. Double hauling, double hauling. You sit and shoot a ton of fly line just using the tip of the rod. And there's another little exercise I like to do in conclusion here. And hey, and by the way, thanks for your patience with the camera. We're doing our last touches of eight videos on how to cast. And uh, like I say, you've been part of the program. Just take a fly line like this in your hand and cast just using your hand. What I'm going to do is just go back through a loop, forward through a loop, back through a loop, and then finally you can sit and throw a fair amount of fly line back there. You've been a great audience. I appreciate it, and thank you very much. I think you can see that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy myself at those shows doing the demonstrations. Most people that I'm teaching understand the concept of double hauling far better through repetition. That's why we're taking the time here to show you the double haul from another viewpoint. Here's how you teach the double haul by the numbers. My wife and I have probably taught in a neighborhood of at least 10,000 people to double haul, probably 14,000 people to cast overall. You have to do this at one cast at a time. Remember I said the front cast is a cast, the back cast is a cast. Go back to the side arm position, again, rotating your reel sideways. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do one cast that way and we're gonna absolutely stop. Do not return. It's very important. We're going to grasp the line around our hands so we won't worry about slipping any more line out. Now we're going to start our cast, the 45 degree angle, the 45 degree angle. Watch my hands. I'm going to come back to the stop position. As I'm coming back here, my rod is flexing. Just before I make my stop, watch my left hand, I will pull away. Let's do this in slow motion. I'll come back, watch my left hand, I'll pull away and stop. Don't worry about returning right away, but leave your rod at 45 degrees. Now, drop the line, grasp it again. Let's do the front cast. Go forward, pull away, stop, then hopefully you return. Now, the reason we're stopping is now we're going to think about this. We're going to go back to a stop. Just before we stop, we'll pull away and hopefully return to the reel. Watch my left hand only. Pull away, return, stop. Pull away, return, stop. Do not make two in a row, you get out of kilter. Pull away, return, stop. 45 degrees, away, return, stop. Stop real crisply with your wrists, real crisply. Pull away, return, away, return. Now, once you feel it, if you want to make a return, if you get out of kilter, return to 45 degrees, away, return, stop it again. It's like flying a helicopter now. If we get in trouble, we can stop. If you practice it overhand, watch my rod on this angle right here. Here's the problem that most people have. If they practice it overhand, they pull away with their left hand, their right hand comes up to here. Now they're straight up and down. They cannot make a forward cast. They get disconcerted. Remember now, we're staying in the sidearm position. Now, as you get the double haul going, let's keep it going. I'm casting about 45 degree sidearm. Let's work it overhead. But watch your back cast to make sure you maintain a 45 degree angle on your rod. Okay, now we're gonna start working it overhand, overhand. Your left hand, as you get the double haul down, doesn't physically have to come up to your reel. It can be down to your side. See my left hand down here? But I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now keep an eye on it. Down, up. See, I can even tip my rod over this side. I'm doing the double haul like that, right? 
down up, down up, down up, down up. It doesn't matter where your rod is. You go to any side of the body you want. You learn later on. You walk around. The best way is walk around a field, shoot dandelions, see how low you can make it go. Make fly casting fun. It's an art. It also gives you something to do when the fish don't bite. Here's a good little exercise that you can use to practice your double haul. Okay, here's what the practice I want you to do once you get the double haul down. Droop, drape about five to six feet of line slack. Securely hold the line right here. Now, what I want you to do is shoot line. Double haul it. Once you get it controlled, I'm going to shoot line on my back cast, but just watch my hand only. I'll stop, shoot some line, stop. Pull a little loop in like this. Now, shoot line four-handed. Get control of the line. Once you're in control of it, see how I'm stopping my route on my front cast? And shoot some line on your front cast. There's the exercise. Only worry about shooting by like five to six feet of line. Feel the extra power in that. Here's about 90 feet. See how hard I was casting? There's about 80 some odd feet of line. I'm not working up a sweat, but just watch my hands. I'll shoot a little backhand cast right here, right? See the extra energy in that cast right there? It doesn't take a lot of power. It takes finesse and technique. Starting to get the feel of it now? Don't be afraid to do the pantomime as I'm casting up here. More people get this old head pat and belly rubbing. They get that feel before they pick up their rod for the first time by doing the pantomimes. As I'm doing this out in a boat, feel that rod load. Feel it. Use this two-handed motion. Get to feel that line. Now, we're going to add some water. We're going to get in a boat, and we're going to practice some of this double hauling. Okay, well, I'm pulling and releasing. Pull, release. The hand is actually being pulled up to the reel with the extra energy. There's a lot of extra energy going up that rod right there, right there, right there. Now what I'm going to do in a couple of casts here, I'm going to pull away and release. Watch the extra energy. Next cast, I'll pull away and release. See that extra energy floating up? That's the one that pulls your hand up to the reel each time, that extra energy. Throw a short, crisp cast, it pulls your hand up. That's the principle of double hauling. Most people, when they're practicing their double haul, have a rough time with the angle of the rod. The angle of the rod. That's why I'm having you watch over your right shoulder for practicing. Keep that angle. In this next segment, I want you to pay particular attention to the angle of the rod, both on the back cast and the front cast. Now we're going to, for camera use, we're going to be watching a little square right here, so you're not going to be worried about where my line is going. Watch my right hand and my left hand. Right hand being, watch the angle my rod starts and stops at. I need this angle here, not this angle to make my front cast. So the big trick is, with my left hand, I'm pulling away from my reel, holding this angle, making this hand come up to meet this one. Holding this angle. Pull away, hold this angle. Pull away, hold this angle. Pull away, return, away, return. The old rubbing the belly, patting the head trick, right? See what I'm getting at? So watching this angle. The big problem that people have is this. Watch my right hand. I'll pull back with my rod. The right hand has a tendency to want to come up to the center. And that's why a lot of people have trouble learning the double haul. They do this. They pull away and the right hand will come up to here. Now you don't have enough angle to make your front cast. So that's a real big problem. The reason that we recommend you throwing sidearm so you can watch this cast. Remember, that's a casting stroke, and watch this cast. Most people have far more strength than they ever need to be able to cast long distances. Remember now, with a double haul, we're dividing the power between two hands. Watch how little effort I'm putting into these casts using a double haul. It doesn't take a real violent action to double haul. It just takes a little pull release, pull release. Now, I'm holding about 30, 40 feet in the air. Now, I can do this efficiently, or I can do it like this. A lot of people want to do it like this. When you start learning to double haul now, it's just a little pull, relax, pull, relax, pull, relax. You don't need to tip the canoe over or the kayak or hit your other partner in the head. 
just a real easy motion, just a short, crisp cast. The hull is initiated toward the end of your casting stroke, not the beginning. Toward the end, the last moment. Very efficient way to cast. Let's watch Robin demonstrate the double hull.